Hello everyone and welcome back to another Friday Night Frights review. Friday Night Frights is a little movie club put together here on YouTube by Claire from the Book Fox in which a bunch of YouTubers, including myself, watch a horror movie every week and then we post a review of it every Friday or whenever it is convenient for us. And if you'd like to join in, feel free to jump in at any time you want. This week's review is going to be of the third installment of the Evil Dead franchise, Army of Darkness. Army of Darkness, just like the other two movies before it, was directed by Sam Raimi and came out in 1992, starring Bruce Campbell as Ash. The third movie pretty much picks up roughly where the second movie ended. At the end of Evil Dead 2, Ash manages to send the Evil Dead back into the past, but in the process he gets himself sent there as well, and he gets sent back into the Middle Ages, and um, the third movie picks up from there. It starts with a little recap of the past events, and we see a third version of Linda, Ash's girlfriend, which was just hilarious for me. In case you haven't watched last week's review of The Evil Dead 2, I had no idea that the second movie was a reboot of the series in which they were simplifying the action of the first movie. So when I saw that Ash is going back to the cabin with his girlfriend Linda, I just made up all these scenarios about him being obsessed with Linda's, just really crazy scenarios. And um, seeing a third actress that plays Linda was just hilarious, just took me back to that and I started laughing straight off from the recap of this movie. And I did continue to do so because Army of Darkness is actually a comedy horror. So the movie starts off with Ash being in the Middle Ages, stuck there. And even though he has a kind of a rough start, people reach the conclusion that he is the chosen one who has fallen from the sky with some really crazy weapons and he is supposed to be the person that helps them get rid of the dead and he is supposed to retrieve the book of the dead to help the people get rid of the evil dead as well as be able to send himself back to his time. Of course Ash messes up that and in the process unleashes an army of the dead. This whole movie is just absolutely ridiculous, but because of that, I had a lot of fun with it. It was so hilarious. The Evil Dead, the first movie, is a horror movie, which I kind of laughed at because it was so ridiculous in points and because of the low budget. The second movie in the franchise is a horror comedy. I tried to enjoy it and get into it, but I really just did not see its point. And I was just really bored with a lot of the scenes that were supposed to be like super fun and over the top. To me, they were just like too much and fell a little flat. I thought it was trying to be too horror and not enough comedy. But Army of Darkness is a comedy horror. This movie is just a straight out comedy that just has horror themes in it and I was really amused by it. Ash with this super arrogant and badass attitude stuck in the middle ages using lines like give me some sugar baby and um, this was all pillow talk baby and um, just groovy. That, that was just hilarious. Also the army of darkness is just hilarious like the horror there isn't over the top it's silly but not ridiculously silly in the middle of the movie there are some sort of like throwbacks to the atmosphere of the first and second movie when ash goes by himself to find the book of the dead he gets chased by the force and gets locked up in a mill i believe it was and there he has to fight little ashes kind of like the scene in the second movie where he's fighting his own hand that's probably the part that i liked least in the movie i enjoyed the fact that they were making references to the other movies but i just thought they went on for a little too too long budget wise you can tell that army of darkness had much more budget allocated than the other two movies there's a huge bigger set a lot more cast a lot more action there's a lot more effects and costumes so it lost the feel 
of the first movie altogether but I really didn't have a problem with that because it was just entertaining. I wouldn't say that this was one of my favorite movies but it's definitely my favorite out of the franchise. So this kind of wraps up the Evil Dead franchise. However, next week we're going to be watching the remake Evil Dead that came out in 2013 which I really don't know much about except that I've heard that it's not trying to be funny at all, it's not really a comedy horror, it's just a straight out horror movie. I'm not a big remake fan, actually I'm not a remake fan at all. I don't like them as much as I like the original usually, so I've just kind of stopped watching remakes. So this will be the first time that I watch Evil Dead. I'm really curious to see it and let you know what I think about it next Friday. So thank you so much for watching, have a really fun and spooky Friday night. Bye!